Hello everybody, uh, this is just a little video of showing you a few tips on older Jemmy life-size animatronics. Because I've been getting a lot of comments recently that ask, you know, my life-size won't collapse, so I don't know how to carry it or without breaking it, or how can I get my life-size to collapse, or how can I get my life-size uncollapsed. Um, well, sometimes the collapsing mechanism does wear out and break. Sometimes they don't collapse. I have the ghost face, and I could never get it to uh, collapse afterwards anymore. Um, and usually I've been told that it, there's a white cable on the inside that's blocking it. But I don't really mess around with that. I just carry it in full size. And you might be wondering how... And no, this is just a 5 foot dancing character. Um, but Ghostface is like six, six, one, six, yeah, some six foot, six, probably like six, one, six, two. Um, and I just carry them at full height. Now, I, it can be hard depending on the size of the room and stuff. And maybe if you have to load it into like a truck or something, <laughs> it's kind of a pain that way. But, and some people say that their animatronic won't come back up. I don't really know how that part works i guess it's the same thing with the cable or like some there's a locking there's a locking tabs in there that can break sometimes but usually if those break that means it just won't uh it that means it won't click into place so therefore that means it won't stay locked down some some horror life-size animatronics have packing pins on the bottom of the base that keep them from popping up so if you don't remove those they will not come up but th that's usually only if it's never been used before because usually i don't think people really put those back in but usually how you collapse them is you just push down on their shoulders and then how you would bring them back up is you would just push down on the shoulders and but this one is different this one the grinch and some of the life-size jemmy posable characters there's actually a knob under here that you under the head that you twist and they pop up this one you got to be careful because this one has a violent pop-up. Like it's powerful. See? But normally you, most of them you just push down on the shoulders and they come back up. Some of them require more strength than others. Like these dancing characters, you don't have to push very hard. Others like the brain monster and stuff, you do have to press a little harder. But if it doesn't collapse at all, you can carry them. This is how I carry them. I kind of grab them like this and carry them like that. It, this one's very lightweight. It's not heavy at all. I don't even think this thing weighs 10 pounds. <laughs> Honestly. I do the same thing even with those Santas. Those are pole-based ones. Jemmy stopped doing collapsibles after 2011. So, But they still started making pole-based ones in 2009. I believe. I think the Coachman one at Michael's was like the first pole-based one that Jemmy did. And the... Oh no. It was the uh, actually the Candelabra Skeleton Butler at Target in 2008 and 2009. Those are pull base too. But the Dead Eye Drakes with the same face and those ones are collapsible. But yeah, this one's pull base and same thing. I can just pick him up. I don't know if he'll fall apart because some of them, the pulls come up. Most pulls click in the place, but some of them just set on. But now if it's a spirit halloween seasonal seasonal visions animatronic i do kind of do the same thing but the thing with those is that they have all those metal parts that are detachable so whenever i carry like seasonal vision animatronics their arms usually and heads usually just fall off even their shoulders so they're kind of a pain in the ass in that kind of way but basically oh yeah see i knew he was gonna fall off his poles Basically, you kind of carry them like this, and to get them through the door, you would kind of, I would do it head first though, I did, I did it backwards, but I would usually walk out with them out of the door like that, and you, you usually they fit through. And sometimes, the walkway can be kind of narrow see there's not much space but i have this door where it can fit in 
and then I can start then have to it's narrow here then to turn it and get up the steps but I don't know what kind of environment all you guys are in but <laughs> yeah anyways that's I would have done it on the Santa, but his head motor is still dead and I lost a few pieces, so I don't really want to mess around with it. But yeah, like I said, he. I, I'll have to fix him soon. And I won't do it with that one because his head snapped off again. That one's head mechanism is sh yellowed and it keeps shattering. So if you ha So also, I don't recommend you doing this with a 2005 model. The 2005 Santa has a flat black base. That's the only model that has a black, and those ones' bodies do snap off very easily. So, but these ones I've never seen a body snap. So, yeah, again, the base would not be like this on a 2005 one. It wouldn't be large and red. It would just be completely flat and black. Same with the, there's a 2006 version of a pirate skeleton that's like that, but I don't think I've seen one of those with a snapped body, just the Santa. And I wouldn't recommend doing that with a 2002 life-size Sionic since his head is yellowed. I'm sure all the others are probably too. As far as I can tell you, I would recommend taking the heads off of those if you're going to carry it. Because if you carry because his head, I think, is actually heavier than the other ones, I think. I could be wrong. It looks a little larger. This is this is his head and it is very heavy. Yeah, this one's not as heavy. His head is way heavier, which it, and they actually have different uh connectors on their heads. See? So like you can't like switch them. I mean, you could, but you would have to do a lot of modifications. But yeah, his head did crack off again. So I did re-glue it, but I haven't tested it. But this one, yeah, I, I don't know when I'm going to finish this. Like I said, I started losing pieces, and I never found another motor. I still have the motor in him, this one, for parts. But I was going to use those super strong motors to make my ghost girls better, because they need really powerful motors for those to work right. But yeah... I don't think it really collapses very well right now either, but yeah, it's stuck now because the, like I said, it's not fully put together. So, but yeah, it you would if it was together, you would just push down and it would come off. This one's springs are actually bad. It doesn't actually stay at full height. It slips down a bit. That also happens with them a lot too. The springs get bad or worn out over time, and they just start. Let's just say. It's this is all the way at five foot. This one is really powerful. I mean, this one pops up really fast. But like that Santa, his springs are weak. So let's just say he slips down like two inches or like that. He slips down kind of like that, which kind of bothers me a bit, but <laughs> it's not much I can do about it. The only thing I can see doing is stretching the springs out, but you have to take the whole thing apart and then take the legs up. It's just too much hassle for that. It's not worth it to me unless he doesn't collapse at all or it's like really bad to where it's just like down here then i might consider it but yeah anyways i hope this video was helpful because this is a question that is asked a lot and i don't think there is a lot of videos i did show how to do the santa and that review but not everyone watches full 30 minute reviews so i just decided to make a video on doing with just the subject on how to collapse and carry and all that stuff. Anyways, so yeah.